Hello, I'm at the Health Sciences campus of the University of Southern California, and that's the uh, Doheny Eye Hospital that you're looking at. And I'm going to lower the camera a little bit. I'm zoom out a little. Some lovely palm trees they've planted in front of their hospital. And then over here in the distance is the University Hospital, which has been steadily going downhill ever since Tennant took over. And um, now USC is in the process of trying to take it back. We'll have to see how that soap opera plays out. Anyway, I've got a half an hour to kill before I see Dr. Victor. So I was thinking about trying to do a little schlep down to uh, Einstein Cafe for um, a latte. And maybe I'll bump into some friends. I always do. I'm a very beloved member of the faculty, and I always bump into colleagues and students. So, anyway. Let's see what happens. And I'll just muse a little along the way. What do you think? So here it is, HCC2, where I had my little meltdown. I mentioned that before. And there's the groovy water fountain that I love so well. One of the nice things. Even though, you know, this whole complex here is just so creepy and stark. And it's just, what are they going to, what can they do to make it nicer? I mean, can't they put some more greenery trees, some kind of glass structures that are clear? I, I don't know. It's just so hideous. And if you have to work here and be sick here, it cannot be good for your mind and soul. I don't know. I, when I worked at Georgetown, it was the same. Georgetown, uh, the Georgetown University campus is really nice. And the medical school, which adjoins it, is just a garbage can. Really, really depressing. And uh, another example of just a really awfully depressing place to work is the Census Bureau. So, I've worked in some really, really awful places. Um, uh, so, I guess this place is, uh, is like Emerald City compared to that. I think the nicest place I ever worked, aesthetically, as far as lovely surroundings and commodious uh, environs and, uh, you know, uh, uh, really comfortable office equipment and top-of-the-line office equipment was the World Bank. So here it is, the Zilka Institute. I don't know. God only knows what nefarious evil doings are going on in there. And uh, they've probably got some kind of security team buckling up and on their way right now. And I swear to God, if George Bush's America makes me want to vomit. The paranoia and lack of privacy and the assault on people's personal rights that goes on around here is just amazing. I really like that view right there. So, anyway, I guess I better stay over and out until I get my latte.